when sometimes my friends call me and I see they're really, 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 the people that I know struggling, they take away a lot of source from me. That's a lot of feminine source and I feel exhausted. And if that happens once, uh, if that's close friend, I'm willing to do that. But if it's not a very close friend, I put a stop because this love belongs to who? Yes, and so when girlfriends talk, they gotta exchange, but it's gotta be like Eileen. I'm sorry if I don't mind sharing. A few weeks ago, she called me and she said, I'm dealing something with my marriage, but the way she shared it, even though it's a struggle, it's a, such a feminine share that I didn't feel depleted. Mm -hmm. And a lot of women, when they're so much in the masculine and they're exhausted and they're working, they're just throwing up. And if you feel that afterwards you're like this for three or four or five days, that means she took everything away from you. Make sense? And we have to be responsible in how we share. Maybe we can share 10% here, 10% here, 20% here, but women lately don't even know how to share without taking it all. And they're hungry, walking around, let me just take it, let me just take it. And that's violates. That violates another human being because everybody's hungry, hungry for that femininity and love. Yes? Uh, mm -hmm. What if your uh, boss person is not your friend but like your husband? And well, you by the way, talk, by the way, beautiful thing about men. Oh, uh, you guys are just so <laughs> amazing. It's so amazing. Men, men, uh, when they're emotionally healthy, and I would say that most of the men are like that anyway. There's deviation for 10% who are really underdeveloped. They don't come and throw up their things. If a man comes from work and throw up his emotions, he's in a feminine energy, he is degraded man that he needs to work on himself. But usually men share only five, 10%. Sometimes they don't share at all. And that's how, and that's how they protect us. They go to work, they are providers, they are protectors. They go and bring bacon home. They don't come and say, oh, my boss did this, oh, I didn't get bonus that, my colleague did this, my other friend did this. It's a woman thing. And if a man shares that, if that's the case, you say, okay, 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 I'll come back to you. And you don't have the conversation with him. Because you, as a woman, there's actually a hierarchy. Here's the higher power, then there's a man, then there's a woman, and then there's kids. And then there's cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. Cats and dogs come to kids, kids come to mom to complain. Mom come to husbands. She can dump energy on him at any time. And it's his responsibility to listen. It is his responsibility, but the problem is if she tries to dump 100%, then it doesn't work. She needs to share 10% to one girlfriend, 20% to another girlfriend, 20% to mom, 30% to him, so he doesn't overwhelm. Or 50% to higher power, 20% to girlfriend, 30% to him. So there's a balance. Otherwise, it's way too much on him. But it cannot be otherwise. Men complain to women. Who, he? Then they he needs to, by the way, it would be actually better to say higher power mentor, mm -hmm. husband, wife, because person needs to go to a higher person. So mentor. Mentor. Yeah, if a man doesn't have a mentor and he has no relationship to higher power, he's overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. He has to provide, he has to protect, and on top of it, he has no one to share to. That's a problem. And that's what men are dealing with. They're like, oh, a woman comes and dumps 100%. They cannot listen to 8,000 words a day. And women can speak between five to 10,000 words a day. And men, between 1,000, maximum 3,000 words. So for them, it's too much. Too much. Yeah? Then now, going back to the point five, where we gotta do the good deeds. The key here, the more good deeds you do to others, the more it comes back to you. For example, you do good deed to 20 people. Those 20 people wish you happiness in the background. They wish you well. You mess up, you hurt 20 people, 
What does those 20 people do? Wish you bad things. And that's why good deeds are important. We gotta serve. It doesn't matter which spirituality or religion or this is important. And now, so the six was how you can get help. It's to get actually from the source. Now I want to go over, if you didn't listen to the lectures, I'm going to go briefly over it. The best time to do it, it's from, don't be scared, from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. If you're atheist, you can just do affirmations. An affirmation, you just wish everyone happiness. Meaning you put the music of a monk or someone spiritual in the background who is singing. And then it's six or seven o'clock in the morning when the sun is rising and you just keep saying the same thing. I wish you happiness. I wish you happiness. I wish you happiness. What is that? You And they're gonna come. They're gonna come, all of a sudden your mom show up, you're wishing mom happiness. Even though you're upset that mom said something really hurtful yesterday. The more you're upset with her, the more you wish her happiness. Because once that disappears, your ex-boyfriend shows up who really hurt you. That means the connection is still there. And you wish him happiness. And you do that at least minimum of 20 minutes. And after Maybe two months, you can do it 25 minutes, 30. The goal is to get to at least 40, 45 minutes. But even if you start with 15, 20 minutes, it's good because you're setting your day with a feminine energy because you're tapping into the universe. You're wishing people happiness. The second, uh-huh, Brittany. I'd like to share on that because that's <coughs> something you, you shared with me. And when I did that, I didn't even realize that Yeah, because that is complete. That's no longer in the background. Thank you for sharing that. The second way you can do it, either meditation, and you can choose which meditation you want to use, or I got to the point where I'm at the point where I'm just praying every morning. And you have to follow your heart, because in our heart we know who do we want to pray to, or who do we want to wish happiness to, which meditation we want to use, but do it every morning. And that's where we feel ourselves every morning with this feminine energy. What I've noticed, if I ever pray or meditate under 30 minutes, it lasts me until 1 p.m. <laughs> At 1 p.m. when my son starts to have a <clears throat> attitude, I want it to snap. At this point, I don't snap, but I want it to snap. And if I do it for an hour, it lasts me usually until 8 p.m. And if I do morning walks or evening walks, it obviously lasts until 10 p.m. until I go to, to sleep. So this is very critical to how much you play with time. You do 15 minutes, like, oh, it lasts until 12 o'clock. You play it next day, you do it until 20 minutes, and you see maybe it lasts for you until 2 or 3 p.m., you know? You play with, with it, okay? Uh, any questions so far? Am I missing the fifth step? Because the fourth step yeah, is... Yeah. Um, <clears throat> starting to do good deeds. What's the fifth step? Uh, actually, fourth step was to write down your good qualities. That's the third step for me. And the third step was to write down... 50 uh, So Sorry. So the third was to write down your good qualities. The fourth is to write down your talents. Yeah. Talents, and you put them somewhere you can glance so you can be present. What is your talent? Because we, most of the time, are not present to our talents. And the fifth... Um, do the good deeds and the six ask higher power for help so the third one is write 50 good things about you and the fourth one is discover your, your talent yes okay yes thank those you those talents just to make sure I'm clear the talents are the top three the four things you write typically first. first three maybe even five okay. but you will be very clear that it's somewhere on the top, the top. very very seldom it could be in the first ten but you need to look because usually we'll write down in the first five.